Hey everybody, it's Dan from Mechanical Malarkey. Today I'm going to show you how to jack up your car. So first, let's talk about the jacks. This is the basic scissor jack that probably came in your car. This is not what you want to use for anything other than changing your flat tire on the side of the road. It's slow and it takes a lot of work to lift a car just a little ways. Instead, I recommend you get a floor jack like this. This is a lot easier and a lot faster for lifting a car. If you're doing anything more than just changing out a flat tire, you need jack stands. Never get underneath a car with just a jack supporting it. I once had a friend doing an oil change for the first time. All he had under the car was his scissor jack. Luckily, the car decided to collapse after he got out from underneath it to get a wrench. Always use a jack stand. A good option if you're not going to be taking off any wheels, like just for an oil change, is a set of ramps like this. These are store-bought. You can also build them, but these don't cost that much, so I recommend just buying some. Ramps are easy to use, you just drive right onto them, set the parking brake, and if you're either using ramps or a regular jack, always chalk the wheel on the downhill side of the car so it doesn't roll off the jack or the jack stands or the ramps. So now let's see where you're supposed to put the jack. So this is underneath the car. This is the jacking point. This is called the pinch weld, and this is where it's strong where you can put the jack. Alternatively, you can put the jack somewhere like this, something that's strong, not just on the sheet metal here. Some cars, like Hondas, have even easier to find jacking points like this. Now if you need to get the whole front end off the ground at once, like to do an oil change, it's usually easier to jack it from the front subframe like this. So look for something that's sturdy, usually there's a lot of structure here. A good clue is if there's a tow hook like this. Because if this is designed for pulling the whole car, this area is going to be nice and strong for jacking. Never attempt to lift a car from the oil pan or the transmission, because you will damage those. To jack a car up from the rear, look for similar things like the subframe or the tow hook. So once you have the jack in a safe location, it's time to lift the car. Now that the car is up in the air, time to put the jack stands under it. The jack stands go in the same place where the jack would go. So place them under there, bring them up to the right height, make sure they're in the right place, and then gently lower the car onto them. Before you take the jack out, give the car a few shakes to make sure it's not going to fall on you. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you like the channel, please subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Always use a jack stand.